I do have a question because I need to know um, if this situation is right or wrong. You go on to eBay, okay, and you're looking for a certain part for your car. I'll use a perfect example front brake pads for your car that you own. You go online, you go up to their listing, and they list your car as the front brake pads. The only car that it fits is your car. You go through a little chart, it's got your year there, your car. Only fits your car. Okay? You're not picking something out and figuring out if it's right for your car. They're telling you it's for your car. They give you the part number, the whole thing. You go online, you buy it. Comes to your house, okay? Now you just paid for a part for a Mitsubishi, and it comes and it's for a Volkswagen, and the package for the brakes is written in German, okay? Because these were Beck and Only shoes or pads, so that means they were original equipment, okay? Had all the German writing all over it. And I did see um, uh, what call was on there. Oh, I can't remember what car was on there. I saw a Dasher and something else on there. So I contact the guy, okay, and he tells me I'm mistaken. How do I know they're for a Volkswagen? And I reply back to him nicely, saying that it says Volkswagen on the box, and the box is written in German, and Mitsubishi doesn't use sensors on their brake shoes. Brake pads. I always use shoes. Okay. So he replies by saying, how do you know they're not for a Mitsubishi? And we go through it again. And he replies saying, how do you know they're not for a Mitsubishi? So then I say to myself, he's just going, trying to go past the 30 day, so I don't get my money back. So, he wasn't making good on it. I contacted PayPal. He told PayPal that I was a liar and I was all this stuff. So I said to PayPal, I said, I'll send you a picture of the brake pads. And it says right on there, Volkswagen. Next thing you know, I get a thing from the seller telling me he'll refund my money if I send them back the item. I'm like, okay. Go to the post office, cost me 10 bucks, I ship it back. Okay? I get a credit for the money for the item, but they won't give me the 10 bucks to ship it back. Now, the problem I see with it is, I didn't buy the wrong item. I didn't buy the wrong color shirt. I didn't buy the wrong size shirt. I didn't assume that I bought a doll and it was six inches and I thought it was going to be a foot tall. It said in there what the brakes were for and that's the only thing they fit. Apparently the guy was wrong and the guy wouldn't make good on the ten dollars. Am I right or wrong? Should the guy make good on the ten bucks? That's all I need to know.